Some people, like Johan and Rotz, think space bends or that space-time curves. This is false for reasons both scientific and philosophical. First of all, space-time is not actually curved because space-time is a mathematical model or manifold. Math is a conceptual abstraction and abstractions cannot physically curve. Thus, space-time does not actually curve. The reason why space does not bend can be refuted philosophically and scientifically. Philosophically, the reason that space does not and cannot bend is because space has no ontic attributes itself. That which has no ontic attributes itself cannot be an entity and only entities have causal agency. A phenomenon must have causal agency in order to have the ability to bend or carry out some action. Space is best understood as a conceptual location of a given entity or the conceptual distance between given entities or the conceptual absence of a given entity or entities. In the third instance that would be synonymous with a void or emptiness. Scientifically the reason that space does not and cannot bend is well answered by Dr. Stan Odenwald on his website Einstein.Stanford. Dr. Odenwald answers the question of what happens to the fabric of space-time when an object moves through it near the speed of light by saying, quote, first of all, space-time is not a fabric. Space and time are not tangible things in the same way that water and air are. It is incorrect to think of them as a medium at all. No physicist or astronomer versed in these issues considers space-time to be a truly physical medium. However, that is the way in which our minds prefer to conceptualize this concept and has done so since the 19th century. Back then, physicists talked of an ether. Today, we know that ethers of the kind that behave like a physical medium are simply not present. Unquote. Dr. Odenwald goes on to say something I completely disagree with, which is that we really do not know what space-time is, which to me is false. We do know what space-time is. It's a mathematical construct. But at any rate, Dr. Odenwald goes on to write, quote, other than two clues afforded by quantum mechanics and general relativity. General relativity, as developed by Albert Einstein, says, and this is a direct quote from Einstein, that space-time does not claim existence in its own right, but only as a structural quality of the gravitational field, unquote. So obviously, from Einstein himself, we can infer or even outright explicitly claim that of course space-time does not curve or bend since space-time does not have existence in its own right. One can rationally infer, if not even outright say, that Albert Einstein's quote cements that relationism is true and substantivalism is false, since obviously if space-time does not claim existence in its own right, then it's not a substance or entity, but rather must be a concept and relational attribute of things that exist concretely. With this said, one may wonder if space does not bend, what is actually going on? Where did the notion that space bends come from? This is again well answered by Dr. Stan Odenwald in answer to the question, what is curved space-time? Dr. Odenwald writes, quote, physically curvature just represents a change in the strength of of a gravitational field produced by either mass of energy he probably meant the word or there that is located in some particular location in space and at some particular instant in time unquote from that answer one can see that space itself does not bend the notion of space-time curvature or that space bends is an adumbration or euphemism for changes in the strength of the gravitational field